Did you know that one of the least expensive ways to wrap your product is also one of the best for enhancing brand appearance? That's right, shrink wrapping. I'm Greg Verghig, Vice President of Sales and Marketing at Pack Machinery. And today, I'm gonna to teach you a little bit about how to expand your shrink wrap machinery options. Now, people understand shrink wrapping. They, they see you know, a production line like this where you got multiple people loading, in this case, it's frozen meals, right? You put it on, it's doing great. It's packing over a thousand meals an hour. I would have an automatic system. The, the, the shrink film comes through. It's got a perforation. The, the product goes in, the seal bar comes down. It goes to a tunnel uh, after that to make a nice uh, appearance and a tight appearance ar around the product, right? So that's typically we think about shrink wrap packaging like that. You know, if you go, you go back to something more manual, I don't know if this manual is, is really the best way of doing it. Here you see uh, half a dozen people uh, shrink wrapping one box at a time. I mean, it's great. I don't know if you've seen those consumer electronic boxes, big phone manufacturers do it where they cut off the dog ears and, and, and they do something like that. I mean, it's a pretty labor intensive process. So, you know, unless you have dollar an hour labor, which most of us, <laughs> certainly we don't have that in this country, that typically is not the best way of of doing it. So I'm gonna give you some, some new ideas. Here you see our combo, uh, 4C combo shrink wrap machine. This is a great uh, system that's got an integrated L bar sealer and tunnel. So I can use it just for sealing or sealing and shrinking. Uh, in this case, it's got a motorized arm that, that comes up and down. The operator can press a foot pedal or automatically time it and out comes a uh, nice shrink wrap package. In this case, it's a, it's a food product. I mean, you can shrink wrap a variety of different things. Uh, the, the 4C combo is also available with a, many different options. Uh, here you see one that has a hot knife and the pneumatic closing, right? So hot knife is really good if you're using polyethylene, for example, it minimizes any type of uh, maintenance and things like that. The 4C, the, the tunnel inside, the height actually adjusts for energy efficiency. So you're not heating up a, a large chamber. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot of benefits with the the 4C combo and we're happy to discuss those with you further. Uh, next up, when you get into larger packages, comes our 6C combo. Uh, 6C is really the, uh, the big brother of the 4C combo. Uh, done for large boxes, you think about shoe boxes or, or large things that need to be uh, shrink wrapped. 6C has all the same features as the uh, 4C combo. In this case, you see it with a uh, motorized film unwind and a film inverting head. Right, which makes it easier to load uh, big boxes into the machine. And you know, you can get quite a bit of output. You know, I mean, you're doing uh, almost 5,000 packs a shift do with a 6C combo. So a lot, of, uh, uh, a lot of output with that. You know, but, you know, that's great, but you know, next up, you probably want to do something automatic. You know, there's a lot of people that look for automatic shrink wrapping applications. And really the, the place where that starts would be with our uh, 6700 automatic L-bar sealer. Here you see sponges being loaded into that. Uh, in this case, it's being loaded by hand. Uh, automatic systems can also be loaded with a feeding conveyor, right? You have a, an L-bar that comes down, it makes the seal around the product, and then it goes through different sizes of tunnels. Uh, you know, tunnel sizing is also really important, right? You wanna, you wanna have a tunnel that's big enough so that it's not limiting your, your operation. Sometimes a longer tunnel with more power will give you more more dwell inside the tunnel get get a better shrink and a nicer appearance so we always look to size tunnels uh, based on what the customer's product is if it's a smaller product like you see here then maybe a smaller tunnel will work uh, will work well as well uh, next up from that you have the 6800 side sealers side sealers are really cool because it's basically just a, a bar that comes down as you see and then a side seal that can make products of various lengths and in fact, it detects the product going inside, so it can make it to length, right? So uh, it minimizes changeover. Uh, you know, you've got long products, short products. As long as you keep the width consistent, then uh, the 6800 side sealer will work great. Uh, it's available in a variety of different sizes for, for larger products as well, and it's significantly faster than an L-bar sealer. Here you see the 6800 being used for multi-pack applications, right? So shrink packaging, you think about products that are already wrapped, but you want to do a bundle for like a big box store, for example, 
the 6800 can work great for that. You can have an in-feed conveyor that will uh, separate the product, uh, right? Take it in from the feeding conveyor, it'll separate the product out, it'll automatically group it as well. Uh, that, that's a great application if you have multi-packs. You know, a lot of people start with a combo and then go to something. They, they go up a level and, you know, the 6800 is a, just a versatile all-around machine that can work for many, many different applications. And it gives a really nice appearance and it's really strong too, right? Shrink film, while thin, is extremely strong. So that's a benefit, especially in multi-pack of, of heavy products. That's, that's very important. And, and I mean, it's a, it's a nice appearance. You can see this here for yourself. Uh, you know, 6800 side sealers, you know, you can also automate the feeding, right? So there's times when, you know, you maybe don't want to have an operator loading it, right? And automated feeding and grouping systems are, uh, you know, once you have the base machine, it's r really easy to add different feeders and then to do an ROI calculation to make sure that that feeder makes sense. Uh, next up from the 6800, and we have larger, we have our 8L and 8T uh, systems, right? These are extremely large L-bar sealers and tunnels. Here you see uh, window screens being uh, being shrimp grabbed. So big products, right? I mean, uh, there's no telling what it could be. Doors, it could be large boxes of corrugated, uh, various things like that. The 8L, huge tunnel, well temperature controlled, gives a nice seal. Then you see the big tunnel. Uh, of course, some people want to automate that. And, uh, you know, here's an application where a customer had various sizes of product. Uh, in this case, we're showing corrugated. Um, but they had various sizes and they wanted to shrink wrap that. And they had small batches, right? It's especially with the growth of um, direct to consumer and, and things like that. I mean, batch sizes are much smaller than what they were before, right? So what this system does is you, you saw there, it went a, a very large stack of corrugated to a very small one from one to the next. Can you imagine the amount of changeover that's been saved by that? Right, so uh, you know you may get an order of 50 of one and then two of another and 100 of another. Uh, this really allows you to do that. This is our 4SXL uh, system and it's pretty sweet the way that I have basically a 3D dimensioning system uh, on the infeed, right? So the product comes in, it measures the sizes, it centers it as you saw, and then the side sealers, you'll see here, uh, the side sealers will actually go in and out and up and down in function of what the stacks are. So, and then the trim is taken away after that. No more needing to change from one roll of film to another. If you have large products, if you have a lot of variability, if you have different batch sizes uh, changing a lot, the, the 4SXL is really a great solution for that. Uh, we make it in a range of different sizes. And then of course you wanna match that with the optimal shrink tunnel, right? You don't need something that is four times taller than the product. You have, uh, as you see here, a low tunnel designed for the, uh, the customer's product. It comes right off. It's a great way of doing that. Simplifies the process, reduces setup. Of course, these sealers can also be used for poly bagging applications, right? And it's not uncommon. Somebody comes to us for an automatic bagger and some type of side sealer, L-bar sealer works great. I mean, here you see stacks of gift cards, right? They came to us, they wanted a bagger. They saw that they could automate things a lot more by feeding it horizontally. You can also do it with apparel, right? So think about poly bagging of apparel. You get large boxes of uh, clothing come in. You need to put them in a clear plastic with a suffocation warning and print and apply a label on it, right? For the inbound or for sending to a fulfillment center, uh, our L-bar sealers work well for that, as well as spill containment, right? So here you see a side sealer being used for uh, packaging of bottles that are gonna be sent to a fulfillment center. For spill containment applications, you know, it's. You have the machine and then you put a, uh, a, um, a label applicator right, right afterwards. So th this was an overview of our shrink packaging systems. Uh, we expect that you found this useful and uh, look forward to answering some of your questions. Thank you.